Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I got a very special box in the mail today. I've been so excited about this item for months, and now I finally got my hands on it. This is the Smart Tank, and there's not too many of them in circulation yet in the continental United States. It's a test device for testing and tidal CO2 monitoring capnography devices. And I did a video on it because I seen it at a trade show just once and I was captivated by it. So I contacted the guys from Smart Tank. They reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in giving a test run on their device. I said, absolutely, let's do this. So here it is today. It surprised me. It was sitting on my front porch after I had got through cutting the grass outside. So well, let's open it up and let's see what's in the box. The Smart Tank Capnography Analyzer. First off, it is packaged rather well. Let's see. Okay. So it did ship with the compressed gases for the type of equipment that I'm going to be testing. So that's one of the things that the crew over there at Smart Tank wanted to be sure of is what type of devices am I going to test. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. One of the other things that I really love about this device is that it's battery powered. So I can test my capnography and tidal CO2 devices in the field. And I do believe that this guy has about a six hour runtime on its existing batteries. <laughs> first off, this is the first time I've actually had my hands really on the device. It's rather lightweight considering it's got the compressed gas already inside it. It's got one little filter on the outside, two connections, uh, lure locks on the front, and it's got a carbon filter. And it's got little stand-up feet. Nice, guys, nice, we thought of it. That's a very approachable angle. I'm gonna leave it like that because I, I do like it at that angle. It came with a compressed gas already in the device. Okay, cool. So I've got a demo gas bottle. Now, one of the things that Smart Tank already let me know about is that the bottles are special. You can see that there is a tag that it floats around on the front. See that? That tag makes sure that the device is aware of what bottle is inside it because different calibration gas are for different models of, a, of capnography devices. So this device always makes sure that you're using the correct gas for the device that you are going to be testing. I thought that that's one real cool QC. Plus, when you put the gas in, it keeps track of things like the dates of the gas. So if you guys didn't know, there is a date, an expiration date, which you can see they clearly labeled expired gas here. But all these gases have an expiration date. And all that's programmed onto these tags when it's packaged at the factory. So very interesting little device. Gas just goes in, screws down. Yep. Okay. And let's see how she does. Okay, this is serial number seven. Serial number seven. Guys, this is so cool. I'm going to be one of the first people to have one of these devices. I love it. Lash calibration 9-20-21. Calibration due 9 I love the fact that there's a splash screen that tells you your calibration dates. That is amazing. Because one of the things I hate doing on my analyzer is finding the serial number. Those of you guys that go through and you put down the serial number of your test device on your calibration forms, which this is entitled CO2, you probably best label your analyzer and write that on your, your form or your serial number. But it's, it's displayed right at the splash screen when it boots. I'm going to click proceed. All right. And it gets right into it. So here we go, we're right into the first menu that you see. There's automatic test sequence, there's single test, last report, 
manual modes, all reports, USB, and settings. Now, one of the things that the crew over at Smart Tank they told me about is that this device, you can update it yourself. I assume that's what the USB is for. You just plug in your USB with your new models or your new test sequences, and uh, it'll upload them to the device. Automatic. Oh, very nice. So I hit automatic test sequence, and then it starts you right out with the GEESCAIO, which is one of the most common devices that we are going to be testing. The GEESCAIO is a multi gas analyzer. You're going to find it usually around anesthesia machines. And that's one of the reasons that we have that particular cal gas in there is because it also has desflurane and uh, some other anesthetants. Let's see, detail level full. Brief. Okay, we'll go into full detail. Okay. All right, all tests. So these are all the different types of GE modules that you can get. The GE-E-CO, GE-CAO, um, GE-CAV. Let's try E-CO, that's one of the most common. Let's do view. Okay, so it's gonna add the bottle expiration date and the lot number in the report. I like it. Done. And load. Okay, there it did. It loaded it. And now there's a start up here. I wish the start was more central because it being up here in the corner, maybe a different color. I wish that the start button was green because I naturally want to navigate to the middle of the screen for when I'm pressing buttons. You can see up here in the corner, it says start. I wish it was right here in the middle. Loading test sequence. Okay, I imagine it's a pretty complex test sequence. This test requires the following calibration gas, the ST0300, 5% CO2, balanced oxygen, next. All right, so I put in the acid ID. Okay. Next. Again, I wish the next button was green because that shows you this is the next button you got to press. Okay, DZ disclaimer. Okay, that's very cool. The disclaimer says that the instruction that they used to write this sequence is from this instruction that was published on this date, and it might not be the most recent. I love that. I absolutely love that, guys. I'm going to agree. The sequence is for double width Datex GE respiratory module E-CO. Next. External inspection. Pass. Internal inspection. Okay, this is probably where you're going to do your little PM kit, change out your Nafion tubing, etc. Internal exception. Pass. Fan filter. They're talking about a little type of fan filter like this one. They're making sure that you cleaned it and or changed it. Let's see. We cleaned it. Water trap O-rings. Okay. Let's say they're good. Filters pass. Nafion tubes passed. Okay, and then it goes into leak test. All right. All right, well, it's going to figure out that I don't have anything connected. And that's okay. So let's go over some of the stuff that is in the box. I have an adapter right here. It's an on airway adapter. And I have a Y adapter with some other lure lock fittings. It's cool, so I can adapt to all sorts of different modules. And a general adapter kit. Now guys, if you get this kit and if you buy this device, I highly suggest you have another container for all of this. Maybe a zip pouch or something that all this stuff can stay in. Because I'll tell you right now, biomeds lose stuff and that's our biggest fallback. Is biomeds are just... <sighs> They're just idiots when it comes to keeping all their test equipment in one spot. So this is a very uh, inclusive kit here. Guys, I love it. This is probably your power adapter. Yep. So right now, it's completely running off batteries. You can see that. 
Right, let's go done. So I am at 85% battery. You can see that, and you can tell that my cal gas is at 100%. And the date and time. Just got all that. Let's go into manual modes. So in manual modes, I got breath simulation, flow meter, barometer, manometer, and regulated pressure source. Very cool. All reports. Cool. So I can see other reports of other stuff that has been done. Excellent. So you can see what you're going to pull up in some of these reports. Let's go down. Let's go to single test. I've got gas calibration, breath simulation, apnea detection, occlusion detection, sample flow and leak, leak down test, and a pressure relief. Very cool. Man, that's very inclusive. Okay, guys. Well, I am just going to go through the device. That's all I really want to do at this moment. It just showed up. I'm going to take this tomorrow and I'm going to give this to a Biomed One and see if they can run and gun with it right off the bat without first having to go through and read the instruction manual. I do believe that this one here has got one of the best step-by-step -step instructions. So let's see how it goes. Anyway, guys, that is the Smart Tank Capnography Analyzer. And what a device it is. It's got everything you need to start out. It's battery powered and it's not that heavy, guys. Not that heavy at all. I actually really like it. So I have a reset button on the side. I got 12 volt DC, that's your power input, and there is your USB so that you can USB it to a laptop. But. Oh, and it just powers off. Too easy. I love it. What a simple little device. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and create more videos based on this product, showing you guys its actual use in the field. I'm going to find some really good examples to hook it up to, show you step by step how it goes through a process. But, guys, that's the Smart Take Capnography Analyzer. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this. And I'm going to try and get you some more videos on this product as soon as possible.